Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be planning out the week of Father's Day. So, I am super behind with filming this week already. And let's see, that's not even the right date. Here we go. So the 15th through the 21st, Father's Day is the 21st. Today I'm filming on Monday the 15th. Like I said, it was a crazy busy weekend. I had finals for my chemistry and biology class and I really just needed to focus on that. So that is done and over with. I get a good, I get this week off from school and then I start right back up again on the 22nd. So um, with that said, it is Father's Day and I do have a Father's Day kit. So this is going to be Kate, uh, Planner Kate Kit MK236. I got the strip header, I got the sampler sheet, and then I got these um, like hourly add-ons that I really like. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm probably going to, per use, speed it up with some music for a few minutes for you guys while I set up the base of it, and then we will come back and plan the nitty gritty. So here we go. I would set up my weekend banner and set up this full box over June, but I'm kind of debating on using the Father's Day box that I would normally put over the, the little June over here um, on Father's Day. So I might do this. Let's see. First, let's white out these times. So I think what we'll do is two o'clock. I think it's those four. Three and six. And I'm gonna line it up at the bottom because these full boxes are actually a little big for like it doesn't fit all the way across um it's it come I mean it does fit all the way across it goes a little bit too far if you can see that so that's kind of a bummer but um I'm gonna do that and then what I'm gonna use is this washi for my weekend banner and I'm gonna do that up above because I really like the way that looks and I always if you're curious why I, I use one of the strips and like cut on both sides it's because these ones are rounded and I don't like one side being rounded and the other side not. So um, we'll do the weekend banner at nine o'clock. And where's my cutter? I just had it. Where, where'd you go? There it is. It has been so crazy busy for me lately today at work so I was gonna try to film today during like my lunch break um, I work from home currently with the pandemic my company's allowing me to work from home which is awesome they're actually considering keeping it that way for most mostly full-time probably go in the office once or twice a week maybe but I honestly don't see myself going back to work full-time and I love it. So I'm, I, I mean, this is the kind of job I've always hoped for to have a job that I could help pay the bills and be home. So I'm super loving it. Okay. So I like how that looks. Um, what else? Anyways, what I was saying is I've been so busy 
And today I was hoping to plan. It did not happen. Clearly, it's uh, six o'clock and I'm just now getting to it on a Monday. I was super busy all day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna lay down first my meals. And I love these flags. I'm actually going to make my own flags because I've been using these so much. So, um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should. But I posted yesterday about starting a silhouette tutorial series on how to make stickers um, with a silhouette cameo or whatever silhouette you have using the silhouette software. And... Um, I thought that it would be fun for me to do a basic tutorial and I'll probably break it up into like whatever sticker so have multiple videos like a series and I really love designing and I think I'm good at it I had a sticker shop for about a year but when I went back to work I couldn't keep up with all of it um, but I love designing and I love making my own stuff so that's not gonna work over I'm going to move this. We're going to have to move this guy. Anyways. Um, so, but I also love getting stickers from shops. And I love Planner Kate. And I love the quality. And the same, I mean, she uses the same paper and stuff I used. But there's just something about her weekly kits that I love. And I don't like trying to, like, copy exactly, like, someone's kits. Um, obviously, everyone in the planner community probably share ideas not share but they get inspiration from each other and I mean you can literally look up like budgeting stickers and they're exactly alike like Sarah Marie and I will always say that Sarah Marie came up with the first budgeting stickers even before Planner Kate and then now everyone does the exact same thing even to like the font they all use the same they all try to like mimic the same font and you know whatever so I didn't like that aspect of it because obviously I got um, pa like passions from other people, but I didn't ever want someone to think that I was copying them. And that's a lot to do with the, um, like the stress of it is I don't want people to like ever, oh, you know, that planner shop's just copying everyone because you see that sometimes on Facebook groups. And so that was one of the reasons I stopped selling. But with that said, I make my own stickers um, a lot, and I love I love making stickers. So I thought I would start a series to show people that have silhouettes at home how to make their own stickers. Um, not for like reselling purposes, although if you get really good at it and you want to, then like that's your own that's your own thing. But um, I just thought it would be fun. So I will have a series coming up shortly. I'll be working on them this week, and I figured out how to record screen. So that's awesome. And um, yeah, so I'll probably start with the basics of like full box, half box, appointment labels. I'll go into weekend banners. Um, yeah, um, washi, just some of the things that people would like to use, icons, these flag boxes. So anyways, um, let me know in the comments below if you have a silhouette and you've been wanting to learn how to make stickers, what are some of the type of stickers that you want to learn how to make? And I will make a video of it. So I am going to make these for myself because I've been using these flag boxes a lot lately and I love them. So I will make those. The other thing I thought I would make myself is like more script fonts. I really love the Gen Plan font. I used it in my planner setup, um, which if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I set up my new um, July planner, and I love how it turned out. But I used a lot of Gen, um, Gen Plan fonts. And so now I want all the stickers that say, like, meeting and working from home and, you know, all of it. I want to make it in Gen Plan font. And that's kind of what gave me the idea to um, film, you know, how I make stickers. Because a lot of people have been asking. So those are my food dinners, whatever they called, done. Okay, I don't, this is this is the week I don't have homework because so I don't have to do that. I have all these post-its that I put up here. I need to start writing down. So, we 
went back to church on Sunday for the first time in three months. And it was great. And I loved it. Um, so we will do that again. We have to sign up because our church is not huge by any means, but it's not like one of those super churches. But it you have to sign up so they can socially distance everyone. They're very like thorough with their checks. They have screenings at the door. They only let you in one door and you have to exit the other door. They have like in the kids club, they have them all blocked off into groups where they can't leave like the square, like five kids per five kids and like a teacher per square. And they stay in that group and they check temperatures and they do all of the things. And so I was really impressed. And there was just something about being back in the building and worshiping and like, that's my jam. Sorry if it's not yours. Um, that's enough of my, sh my church spill. But anyways, we went back and I loved it. So I got that down. My mom is coming this weekend. So I think what I'll do is take some of the washi. And, well, no, I'll probably just do like something up here in a brighter color. How about these greens? So my mom's coming. And this is the first time that she's been here, well, even before the pandemic, she wasn't, like, we, she hasn't been here to my home since, like, before Christmas, but she hasn't been here, she's been hunkered down, she's very, um, you know, this pandemic, she's of the age group where it's kind of nerve-wracking, and so she's trying to do her best to stay home when she can, and so she's not going out anywhere. And so she, we haven't seen her. She's missed my husband's birthday. She missed my, my son's birthday. And so she's finally coming, um, now that things are opening back up, to celebrate a late birthday with my kiddo. So that is Saturday. And she lives about half, no, about 45 minutes from us. And so she'll come for that week um saturday she'll be here probably around like 9 30 or 10 is usually when she shows up and then she stays all day saturday and then she goes home um generally right after we leave for church she'll let herself out and so that's coming up this weekend and then on friday we also have um my husband and i have a day off together so that's fun because we both need it and um, we have citywide garage sales in our little town. And last time I checked, there was like 50 of them. And when I say little town, it is a little town. It's less than 5,000 people. So 50 garage sales in a tiny little town is going to be fun times. So we took the day off together. And we're going to go out to breakfast or order in. I don't even think anything's open in our town yet. But um, we're going to do that and go grab sailing together and have a fun day. So I'm excited about that. Usually, so we have four kiddos, if you're new. And they're all um, 10 and younger, in between 10 and 2. And so for us to get, like, alone time, we have to do it in the day when the kids, like, are at daycare or whatever and take a day off. So they're going to my mother-in-law's for the day, and we are going to have a fun day to ourselves. and I cannot be more excited. Okay, so that was, we did, I guess I'll write it down even though today is over. We had to return our laptops for the kids' school. We only checked out one because I had um I had one and I just also knew like I didn't want my my it was at twelve when that was. I didn't want like another child not to get one if I had something that my kids could use. So we checked out one and I really wish that I would have checked out two because the old laptop that I had was garbage and it, it did not work half the time. But we returned those. And then I need to work on the the maps. So I'm the one that kind of put out the the birdie of like, hey, we should do a citywide garage sale all at the same weekend. And since I started the comment, now I'm in charge of it. And so I 
<sighs> always bite off more than I can chew. And I said I would put together the maps. So I have to do that. Maps do. Um, and I'm going to say 5 p.m. So that I said I would put out the maps um, for the garage sales. And what else do I have here? So this is our day off. Oh, I've always wanted to use one of these day off stickers. And although we will be busy, I'm going to block out the day because I want to. And I have this washi and it just fits perfect there, right? So I should totally use it. I'm going to lift this up. There we go. Okay, so that's the day off. And mom's coming in church. Okay, so my notes are done. And let's see what else I have. I haven't gotten meal. I don't meal prep. Oh, it's been bad. Um, tonight, I haven't made it yet. My kids are probably out there starving. So we're doing breakfast, pancakes. And I know that on Friday, I don't know what we're doing, but I know we're eating out for the day my mom's here. She is going to let us get takeout and go pick it up. So we'll eat here, whatever we want, she said. And the other days, I don't know. So we're going to keep it at that. Well, I know tomorrow it, we always do tacos, so that's easy peasy. So there's the meals so far. And this week, what else can I do? I'm going to try to do working out down here. And I'm going to use these green ones because I have enough of these. And I just need more pop, more pops of green. Today was so busy at work. It was so stressful because in the back of my head, I knew I wanted to do this and get it out for you guys because I normally have it out Saturday. And then I was like, oh, I'll do it Sunday. And then I was like, no, I have a biology exam. I just needed to focus on school, which is good. I know that I can't get these out like all the time, but I want to. So the seasonal surprise box is being shipped. So I'll have that video for you guys when it gets here. I know by then you'll see um, what's in it, but it's always fun to see people's. Oh my gosh, I can't get the sticker. It's always fun to see people's point of views on what they think of them. This is my first seasonal surprise box too. So we shall see how it goes. I'm excited about the stuff I know that's in it, um, but it's always different when you get your hands on it. So, oh sweet. Just kidding, I thought that this was Friday. I was gonna say, sweet, it's payday again. Nope. So garbage day is Tuesday. And I do need to clean before my mom gets here. I will do that on Thursday. And I need to go get groceries, so I'll do that Friday. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sweet, and then I still have all of this left for other kids. Okay, so I'm not gonna put in my work stuff yet because I want to make stickers for those and plop them in because I have a lot of the same daily meetings every week. And so I thought I'd just actually make stickers for them. But yeah, that's it. I really like it and it's Father's Day and I still don't know what to get my husband. So if you have ideas, that I can get in the next four days, please let me know ideas below. That'd be great. And I will see you guys next one. Look out for my sticker tutorials. That's going to be awesome. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys later. Bye.